<clears throat> I'm seeing some numbers here. You guys have held opponents under 70 in nine of the last 10 games. You're 19th in efficiency defensively, according to Ken Palm. Talk about your defense, which is really carrying you. Yeah, I think it starts with our length. You know, Sticks and Bruno, they, they, they protect the rim. We'll make mistakes, and they're blocking shots by the rim, which, which really help us. Um, up until Tuesday, we were a great rebounding team. And um, t- uh, Tuesday, we decided not to box out, and it almost cost us the game. So, of course, we watched a ton of film on that yesterday, and hopefully we'll be better tomorrow. But our first shot defense has been terrific. Um, if we can just get our transition defense better, which we, we've, which we have, um, but it's got to continue to get better. We've made a you know an X and O change that should help us uh, there. Hopefully, going moving forward, and if we continue to rebound, our defense has been great. So we have some really good individual defenders. Anthony Cowan's a terrific defender. Del Marcel's a terrific defender. With our length, um, you know, it's it's been good, and our guys take it on as a challenge. So it's it's been you know I wasn't expecting it be quite honest with you with such a young team Mm. um but we've done it for whatever 27 games so um it's 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 what we are it's it's what we do and and uh, i do think we can get better like i said those two areas if we get better at those two areas uh we could be really hard to score on down the stretch talking to coach turgeon from the university of maryland they're 20 and 7 11 and 5 in the big 10 and when you say a young team you're actually (laughs) the third youngest team in the country Mm. out of 353 teams they're 351 that's unbelievable yeah, it really is, and my goal every year is to get older, and I just can't figure it out. And, right, um, right. It's hard. I do think, yeah, it is hard and, at this level, but I do think we've signed some players that will be with us for, you know, for a while. Um, not all of them, but a majority of them. I think the incoming class we have coming in will be three or four-year you know, four guys for us. So hopefully uh, I, I think that's a huge advantage. But I'll say this, my, you know, we play – Daryl and, and, and Bruno and, and Anthony a lot in big games. And you know, even though they're just two sophomores and, and, and a junior, they play way beyond their years. So, um, but our young guys are really mature, no egos. Um, you know, every night it's going to be a little bit different for us. But um, uh, it, it's been a fun group. And when you are young, you know you can get better. And I just think that it's kind of been our philosophy moving forward that, we just try to get a little bit better every day, and um, I think we've done that. And if we continue to do that, you know, hopefully we can be a great team before the year's over. Coach, you mentioned the four games you have before the conference tournament, three out of four at home. Uh, one of those games is going to be Michigan next Sunday on March 3rd. Yeah. Uh, and you've played Michigan already, and I wanted to get your take. You've played Michigan and Virginia, all right? Um, yeah. And they're very similar in terms of the, the way they play. Their efficiency numbers are pretty similar, especially on the defensive end. They're both in the top two in def- uh, top two or three in defensive uh, efficiency. Uh, their pace of play is very similar. C- can you compare the two? I mean, are they pretty much identical? I think Virginia's a better team. I just think they have better offensive players. But can you compare the two? And what did you notice about those two teams when you played them? Well, I agree with what you said. Um, you know, it's you – know, I don't want to – I really don't want to get into Michigan, to be honest with you. Right, okay. Ohio State Saturday, but – um, they're both really good teams. They're very well coached. Um, I agree with that. I think, and I've only, you know, we might have caught Michigan on an off day, but uh, Virginia was a little bit further along offense, and I think they're a little bit deeper uh, than Michigan um, mm-hmm. also. But, um, you know, uh, they're both great teams. We had a hard time getting anything going offensively against Michigan, uh, especially in that building on that day. Uh, they both have great size, great length, um, and extremely well coached. So, um, I think if they played each other, it'd be a low-scoring game. Oh, yeah. I think it'd be a heck of a game. Yeah, it'd be a heck of a game. All right, so you mentioned uh, Ohio State, um, mm-hmm. and you play them tomorrow. Talk about Ohio State. What have you noticed on them? They've uh, they've been kind of inconsistent, uh, you know, pretty much all year. He notices he owns them. Yeah, you do You do play them well. <laughs> no. um, but, they, you know, they lost. They got killed at Michigan State a couple of games ago. I watched some of that game. They were just bad. But then they come back and they beat Northwestern after that. What what is what kind of problems does Ohio State face? By the way, white out tomorrow. White out. Yeah, it's amazing how you guys view Ohio State and the way I view them. So. <laughs> yeah, right, there, right. <laughs> That's right. I think they've gotten a lot better since we played them. Just like we've gotten better uh, since then. Um, you can tell by the way their enthusiasm is on the bench that they've stuck together uh, during this. It's hard to win in league play, especially <laughs> in this league this year. Uh, they got the big kid in the middle, Caleb, who's terrific. Um, you know, he's a tough matchup for us. 
Um, and I think defensively they're really good. I think they're very well coached defensively, uh, and they stay together. And I saw the Michigan State game totally different. You know, it was a two-point game with about seven minutes to go. So they battled Michigan State, um, you know, in that game. So in February it's hard to win any, any games. Um, we got to be ready. I told my team yesterday, two years ago, we started out 20-2. and two. We started to leak a little bit of oil, but when we were coming home for three or four, late in the season, and we just assumed we were going to win all four games. We got blasted mm-hmm. at home by Iowa and Minnesota. So, you know, we talked about that yesterday and how just because we're coming home doesn't guarantee us anything, and we need to get better. We need to keep concentrating and, and lock in and, and, and give Ohio State all of our attention uh, as we prepare for them and play the game tomorrow. So I got a team that's listened all year. I expect them to do that. Um, but we're not taking anything for granted just because we're coming home. 